Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to this episode of Factorio. This is episode... Oh, what is this? I want to say episode four. Anyway, this is episode four of... Is it episode four? Yeah, it's episode four. Uh, this is episode four of Factorio. This, this is modded Factorio, so if you haven't watched my earlier episodes... I am using Angel's Mods and Bob's Mods. This does add a lot of complexity, as you can see in the background right here. And we're going to continue where we left off on the last episode, and that is getting this a bit more streamlined. We are backing up in a few areas. So without further ado, let's continue the game. Alright, so where we're creating a backup is over here. Now this thing's trying hard to just pump the stones in, but it can only do so much. So, because of that, this guy can't work too hard. We got copper piling up, so this guy's stopped. We are definitely going to need to do a lot of work. Thankfully, we have now dramatically improved iron production, so we have enough to make 20 inserters, which is going to let us get, well, really we're stuck using this side, but it's going to let us get the copper going, eventually. So we got a lot of areas that have kind of created some slowdowns because we haven't gotten all the resources over here. It's still definitely a work in progress. But by the end of this episode, this should be working beautifully. Okay, we are almost ready. So I just got to run a splitter over here. Okay, so we're actually going to start off with getting... The inserter set up for the coal along the top and along this one. Okay, those are now ready. Now we just got to build. Our transport pipes and we will need a splitter so we're actually gonna run that right over here because it sets this up in perfect line with everything else we need don't know why I have 315 coal I'm gonna throw that over there let that do its thing fairly soon here we should really be producing some copper over here copper over there little bits of everything everywhere and now I need one more splitter And the splitter is required because this, I did build this a little too wide. This really should have only been one component wide instead of two here. But hey, you win some, you lose some. And when you're building a hyper compact setup, you know, sometimes things just don't go quite according to plan. There we go. We have coal and everything, so everything should now... If I can get production ramped up, I may need to actually create a fast inserter. 
Oh, no, that's not the problem. Problem is we are not producing because of the slag. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn off the slag. I'm going to let this run its course. And we are going to need a lot more iron. Unfortunately, our iron production is going to halt for a brief moment. while we sort this out. Okay, so we're going to need one of those. We are going to need one of these. Okay, so that should help the production there. Yeah, boy. Uh, because of that slag problem that I mentioned a second ago, we do have a mild issue. So this did not work out quite the way I was hoping it would. Ah! Forgot I need to power stuff. Splitter. Yep, there we go. And that's going to split the coal, and hopefully that should allow us to really see. say I'm uh, pleasantly surprised at how much this is producing. I say pleasantly surprised even though it is very much a surprise. prep this for more production because that's just how we roll we're producing far too much
Okay, hopefully that'll help clear up a little bit of the congestion that I have. I doubt it. We are very congested in this assembly here. Okay, because of the problems that we're having, I'm going to have to modify how this comes in. Slag in there. Get some power over here. Okay, I should keep the slag cleared out while the crusher crushes. That should allow this thing to continuously produce and keep the slag from causing us any production issues. Almost looks like I probably should have split this up into four. Whew. Quite the demanding little bugger, isn't it? All right, well, unfortunately, that's going to be as much as we can do to streamline this for the time being. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're actually, we are going to be improving this. needs to drop off some. Ah, jeez, this is not quite going the way I wanted it to. Inserters mode in out. Okay. There we go. Now all three are doing what they need to do. Awesome. Okay, so we got alloy. Let's see. Lead. We're going to start smelting the iron to create iron ingot, molten ingot, iron plates. So 
So to prep for that, so blast furnace. Ah, I need steel. Blast furnace should craft us our copper and iron ingots. And then our casting. Made in. Okay, so we got the induction furnace and then the casting machine. Lots of steel. A lot of steel. Okay. In the meantime, this thing isn't even pumping out an iron fast enough to do what I wanted it to do. We are getting plenty of stone brick. The slag is now being handled quite nicely, but we're not inputting very fast. It takes four. Okay, how are we going to cram that into here? Whew. Got ourselves a challenge. Perhaps I should have spaced these out a little bit more. Okay, so I think what we're going to do over here is we're going to run a splitter and an inserter. Double up what it's producing. Okay, what do I need for fast inserters? Those are long. And near. So long drops it a fair bit away. Near drops it off close by. Now capacity bonus. Yeah, I guess it can move two items at a time. Realistically, I need a speed bonus. Well, we're going to run what we got. Ooh, look at that. We're definitely producing more. We're clearing out that side better, too. We're definitely producing a lot better than we were, which is good. Okay, let's uh, let's work on getting the materials out. Wow, we were almost full on that one. Okay. Now I will need to rearrange this at some point, just because this is not sustainable as is, but for right now, we will work with it. In the meantime, let's prep to get all of our steel in one location. Okay, so I need one, 
two, three, four underground and one splitter. That's the wood that I'm lacking. Mmm. Why does that sound familiar? Looks like I'm actually going to need one, two, three more. I'll do that. And an iron chest to put everything in. Let's get it powered. Okay. No. Need you there. Okay, so now if I start placing things. Awesome, look at that production. And production's slowing down. Hmm. Well then. Uh, I need to start making some steel. So I think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to remove up here run this down like this, run it to a smelting facility here, probably two smelters, two casters, uh, one cast can go directly to a chest, the other cast can go into steel making. Yeah, I think that's what's going to end up happening. craft this stuff. Which resin? <laughs> I don't even have a hundred resin. I mean, that's okay. So we're gonna send that along over to here. <laughs> How do I want to do this? Huh. Well, actually, if I move this over to here... I can shift where that is one backwards, I think. Sweet, nothing lost power.
awesome. And we'll need one more of these. And when we do produce wood, it should produce it a lot, a bit more rapidly. <laughs> yeah, I ain't holding my breath on that. That should allow us to increase our wood production reasonably well, though. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Definitely going to have to redistribute... Uh, some of this stuff. Oh boy, this is not the easy setup I was hoping it would be. Uh, okay, we'll move you right there. We'll move you. And then set that up like that. been done. You are going to be the crushed stone unit. Switch like that. Okay, so there's that. For right now, we're going to do that because I do need to get this side figured out. And I think what we're going to do. Set it up a bit more like this. Even it out. Have it pull that in as much as I can. Definitely looks like that's working a lot better. Flooded over here more than I intended, but that is a-okay. Now this, I need to set up a splitter on. I just need to destroy that.
Alrighty. So, advanced iron smelting is done. Let's get some steel done. Steel gear wheel. Lovely. Build some more research. This whole section here is probably going to go away because it's no longer necessary. Wow, that's really taken out a lot of the areas where it's been struggling. Problem is, now I have a backup of. Okay, so what we're actually going to do, pick up, drop off, Okay, we're clearing it out. Good, good. How are we doing on copper? Okay. Next, I need to create... Okay, we got steel. Let's get some ore silos, I think. Mm, maybe. And maybe, maybe. Mm, larger mining drills. Mining speed three quarters. Mining power four, seven by seven. Power four and a half. Mining speed one, five by five. Yeah, that one's a little bit better. Alrighty. Yeah, we're going to do more silos. All right, guys, we're going to go a little bit long today. We're going to get the copper going like it should. Well, that was a mistake. Hey, there we go. We got it fixed. Okay.
and there we go. Copper is well on its way. So we got plenty of copper and iron production. Let's start smelting some steel now, shall we? Put that out, and let's uh, let's make some steel. How are you getting coal? Hmm. Move the light over there. And split Okay. Hey, ore silos are done. And let's see, last thing we're going to start researching. Pump jack, huh? Hmm. Oh, what's the last thing we need to start researching? Well, we can research more power out of smaller power stations. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Wow, direct from molten iron and copper. That would be useful. An angel's ore processing machine, Mark 1. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not quite sold on that. Oh, that does get into second gen science packs which I have not gotten to yet. Hmm. Interesting. Let's uh let's research this. Okay. steel do I need for a silo? 10 steel for a silo. Yeah, we're doing all right on that. since we got that little issue there of this not getting anything I'm actually going to run a second splitter and add more Oh, 
awesome. Okay. So, let's see. We want a blast furnace. We got plenty of steel plate. And I know we got plenty of steel of stone brick, which is all the way over here. And look at that production. We're actually staying on top of everything. Yeah. So we're going to do a blast furnace. Casting machine. And an induction furnace. Once we get more steel being produced. Man, we are not producing a whole ton of iron, are we? Uh, let's see. Everything's running. Hmm. Looks like our problem is our supply chain isn't brutish enough to handle that much production capability. So we are going to need to bump up production over here. Alright guys, well, we got a lot of what we needed figured out. We got steel being produced slowly. We just need to start creating way more sapphirite to flood this so that production of sapphirite isn't holding us back. But this is as good of a time to end. We are running a fair bit long. So with that said, if you liked this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode.